Manchester United are reportedly on the edge of finalising a deal for Shakhtar Donetsk midfielder Fred. But what is the full story? What I'm going to do is run through all of the reports going back from November to now to show you exactly how this transfer story has developed. Now, back in November 2017, it was the Mirror who first reported United's interest in Fred. They were writing an article discussing Marouane Fellaini's potential exit in January. Talking about that, obviously Fellaini never left, but will leave in the summer, fingers crossed. And Fred was linked as a potential replacement for him. But nothing really happened until January when Samuel Luckhurst from the Manchester Evening News said that Man United were not particularly interested in Fred at that point. It was always Man City who were leading the way. And then if we fast forward to March 2018, Shakhtar Donetsk's chief executive, is a very hard sentence to say, he said that Fred will be joining one of the two Manchester clubs. He said Fred will leave this summer, if not to Manchester City, then to Manchester United. He is ready for the best championships. In addition to being very good, Fred is very professional. Always helps. But Shakhtar are making it clear that Fred's going to be leaving and both Manchester clubs are being linked with him at this point. Then in April 2018, once again, Samuel Luckhurst from the Manchester Reading News saying that Man United are stepping up their interest in Fred because City have stepped back in their pursuit of Fred. Now, Man City were originally linked before United because City played Shakhtar in the Champions League group stages and Pep Guardiola was particularly impressed with how good Fred was. That's why he started getting linked with the move to Man City. But now Man City are looking after, it looks like Jorginho is going to be on his way from Napoli. They've ended their interest in Fred and Man United stepped in and PSG were also linked. But it wasn't until May, 24th of May, roughly around there, where it really started to kick off. Once again, Manchester Evening News leading the way with the stories. They're saying that Man United are close to signing Fred. That was backed up by Sky Sports as well. Separate reports there also confirming it. But it was Gianluca Di Marzio, as he always does, who causes the excitement. He said that Man United had reached an agreement with Shakhtar Donetsk worth £44 million for Fred. Now that means that a fee had been agreed but no transfer had been agreed. That is what Dimarzio was reporting. And that's, as I said, is when the interest really, really started from United's side. Well, the excitement anyway. During that week, Fred went on to say that he was honoured by interest from both Manchester clubs. And it's clear that the 25-year-old Brazilian, who is in the World Cup squad is ready for that next step in his career. Shakhtar Donetsk has got an excellent record of bringing through wonderful Brazilian and South American players and selling them on. And it looks like Fred is ready to be the next one. And then on the 30th of May, Manchester Reading News, once again, they're reporting that Man United are close to finalising a deal for Fred. Now, he's away training with the Brazil squad ahead of the World Cup. So Man United and Jose Mourinho clearly want to get it done before that happens. We've got, what, a few weeks until the World Cup starts, so if Man United are going to do it, we've got to do it quickly. But that is how the reports have developed. It originally started as Fred being potentially linked as a Fellaini replacement in the squad to him being one of our main midfield targets this summer. And it looks like United are going to be signing Fred. Are you excited by Fred? You know, we've had some success with Brazilians in the past. We've had Rafael da Silva, Fabio, Anderson to a point. Then you look at Cleverson. United haven't always had the best record with Brazilians. But do you think that Fred would be a good signing? Let me know in the comments. What would be our midfield setup if he were to join? And if he joined, do we need another central midfielder? Let me know in the comments as always. If you enjoyed it and this video did help you understand the Fred transfer, please drop a like and subscribe to United People's TV. Take it easy.